we were watching the news and um, it was talking about George Floyd and there were the protests on TV. And I was sitting with my mom and then she gave me a hug and that kind of broke me down. Like that's when I started crying. I just sat down in my room and brought out my guitar and I started playing some chords and played around with that. And then when I started writing the lyrics, I was sitting on my bed thinking about what I told my mom. And I like, I started crying while I was writing it because it was all these like feelings and emotions were coming up again. My name is Lulu Bwaba. Um, I'm a musician. I like to sing. I play piano and I play guitar. And I've started using my singing and my piano and guitar to try and get my feelings out and my message. Whatever I'm feeling or what I believe in, I try to spread it through that. The title of the song is I Can't Breathe after George Floyd's last words. I can't breathe. Because they were like ringing through my head while I was writing it. Because that's the second time I've heard those last words in this sort of context. This happens so often and it's kind of become almost background noise and that shouldn't be the normal, that shouldn't be something that I should be used to. Please don't shoot. And I was afraid that it was just gonna become another hashtag and then go away. And so that was one of the lyrics I wrote. Um, it says, the death tolls up, the hashtag's different. And that scared me. I didn't want it to just be a hashtag and then he was forgotten again. It keeps happening and each time there's a hashtag that's justice for this person, justice for that person, but we either don't get justice or when we do, we forget about the issue entirely. If you're financially able, donate. If you're able to go out and protest, do that. And for me, I wasn't able to do either of those for a while. So music was my way of trying to get the word out there and to protest. Tradition is an old 